Salamat o na ako sa mga tao nga nag-imbitar ka na ako. Si Governor Douglas Casas, Congressman Mercedes Cagas, Digo City Mayor Joseph Peñas, Chairperson Rachel Arenas. Ma'am, may hapon. Kauban ako sa gobyerno. Ako ang mga minahal nga kababayan o uh, happy anniversary sa inyong ika-50 ka, well, your uh, existence as a, a local unit. Uh, hinumdum pa ko pagkamatay sa akong papa, he was the governor of one big Davao, huge province. But when he died, President Marcos divided it into four local government units. Kay tungod si Mayor Lopez, iyamang Brad sa fraternity, sa UP, Sigma Roman to, he retained Mayor Lopez. But ang Davao Oriental, si Rabat, And dito sa Norte, si Boy Sherman siguro ito. O niya, uh, ang dere si, think it was Governor Llanos. Uh, daghan ang nahitabo ang inyong lugar na tunga na po in Tutu, and that would be ang Occidental o Oriental na Davao. O niya, with the addition, of una pa ang Tumbal Valley. Uh, in 19... Kano sa ba ko ito nag-graduate? <laughs> I remember that I was uh, brought by my father. Daghan mo yung na-expelled ni Addo. There were four of us. One is... Uh, Eventually, he became a soldier. Uh, he was also a son of a, a, a Philippine constabulary, si, uh, Rudolfo Garcia. Yeah, si Tamayo, who was the anak of dentista sa Santa Ana. Onya, si Tick Boy sa Bansalan. Uh, we were... Uh, Involved in a, a inong langgod, uh, pare. It was a rocos and we were all expelled. I remember uh, gidako sa akong amandre sa Corieso. Diha na ko ni graduate sa akong high school. Diha po ko gapuyo sa Brothers of the Sacred Heart. Motong mura po ko o brother. Kay kada adla mga jipod me niya na ako extra time sa library. You know what? They were appalled ang mga brothers ba nga wala ko yung nahibawan. Iba ko kung sige buhat sa mga brothers ako. I was told to memorize the dictionary. And I had to use a word in three sentences of the different tenses. Na I past, present, future, perfect of anak ng... Well, in a way, I was able to recover sa akong mga lapses sa... Bugok eh. Huwag na tunan. But the extra years, took me about seven years to graduate high school. Dere na may dere na kita ni Doresa. Dere na may tanan ko nang secretary karon sa peace process. So, I am very thankful for uh, my education there is uh, Brothers of the Sacred Heart, they were French Canadian. Uh, the four of them nga uh, giga pukpok sa amo. And of course uh, the late uh, Mayor Liano is known. Uh, he was just a, this was just in a municipality. He was a friend of my father. 
No, no, my father was also a Jago. He was a military man, but assigned sa Jago. So they, after the Cebu uh, liberation, they decided to migrate to Davao. Okay. Sila man tong nagdemanda sa mga collaborators sa Cebu. So tanaw nila, maglisod sila o Silianos may gidakop na papa na ako may nagdemanda as collaborators. But they were subsequently freed by a general amnesty declared by the United States. Well, anyway, di pa ikong dako na nakaabot o 50 anyos. I was here maybe in murang kadugayara po sa inyong kwan, inyong anniversary. About that time, I can hardly recall. May marami ako siya akong iniisip ngayon. And, you know, may I talk first about the importance of what's happening to the nation. Ako ba, kung itong away na ito would involve the MIMN, I could very well understand. And still, I would really insist in just talking about peace. You know, uh, ang historical motivation kasi nitong MIMN and it started in the late 70s. Ang ila manggong tunong was the rising nationalism of their territory, which is Mindanao. Long before Magellan arrived in Leyte, with, of course, bringing Christianity, gunpowder, and the rifles at that time, they were called muskets. Uh, ang Islam was already thriving in, the, in Mindanao, ahead by almost 50 years. The Muslim scholars would place it at about 70 or 80. But uh, when I was a congressman, I did some readings sa uh, archives ng Indonesia and of course uh, subsequently sa, Malaysia, sa Indonesia, Malaysia. So I was able to figure out how it came about the Malay race, kitang tanan, Malay manta, Indonesian, Malaysian. And the only thing is that uh, half of the Philippines at that time, but Visayas and Luzon, was not as yet uh, cultivated by the Moro of Mindanao. So, wala pa kaayoy religion nga ni Sulod. And you know, at that time, na dala-dala na ng Espanyol yung Christianity. Uh, I do not have anything against religion. But we are a product of colonialization, imperialism of uh, the Spaniards and the Americans. And uh, if I may say so, with due respect to the leaders, religious leaders around, pati yung mga kargado siradong, we were also brutalized. And at that time, whether you like it or not, you have to convert or you are the same. Pari ho rin, any other conquering uh, tribe. So most of the Filipinos converted to Christianity at that time because we were at the mercy of imperialism. So ganun ang nangyari. Naintindihan ko, I very well understand itong MIMN. And that is why even with the beating of the drums of war, I've always insisted in just talking and talking because we all know the history of why they are fighting. Ang hindi ko maintindihan itong mga terorista. And I'm referring to the ISIS and the local terrorists, yung maote at yung mga allies nila, maramanig mga organization na lang, para ba lions, para ba jaces, and itong sahulo, itong mga abusaya. There is no redeeming factor at all 
itong terrorism. All that they want, it started in the Middle East, expanded all over the world now, either in groups, in numbers, or singly, or dalawa tatlo. And they all want is to kill and destroy. To me, they have no redeeming factor at all, except that they are terrorists. And they will simply want to kill. Mauna yung nakadaot niya, kaya ako galit, you know, you might not know it, but my mother was a half Maranao. And my lolo on my mother's side was a Chinese lamb. Siguro iyang igagaw to yung lamb na sugarol niya sa Clark na sinibatan tayo hindi buhayad ng taktis. Yun ang hinahanap ko kayo, patayin ko yung buhayad. So, I, I know the the where we tell us of where we're going. Okay ako sa MIMN, but I will never, never, never talk to the terrorists. And there will never be forgiving there. And that war in Marawi will continue until the last terrorist is taken out. Di talaga ako papayag because it is a brutal and cruel organization. And to think that what will happen to us if we allow them to overwhelm. And you know, this, every, every night I, I get my briefer from the DND, Defense, at yung kay Chief of Staff, kay Anyo, pati sa police. And uh, I'm telling you the truth. Every time I read it, I am really unsettling masyado. Sometimes I cry, paluha lang ako if the numbers are really great. Kasi nakikita ako yung mga patay na sundalo ko. Ko kasi ako yung commander-in-chief. Makikita ako yung mga police ko na namatay and in numbers. And I can just imagine ang pumapasok sa akin ang pamilya. That is always our worry. Tayong lahat dito. All of us, yung pawis natin, ang atong paninguha, always for the family. Wala na tayo. We are beyond uh, yung mga kapritsyoso na. No? At this age, we always want our country safe for our children. Kaya, ganun na lang ang galit ko sa mga kapwa ko ng Maranao, sabi ko, galit ako sa inyo, bakit ninyo pinapasok itong mga po? Why did you allow the terrorists and they could not have built that kind of uh, ordinance until now marami pa sila. Most of our soldiers suffering and the police, puro shrapners, puro explosives. And uh, saan sila nakaipon na ganoon karami? This has to be uh, looked into maybe after uh, the fighting. But uh, it really disturbs me because I declared martial law. And I was the one who ordered them to go there to fight and to die. Mahirap yan sa konsensya, mabigat. It is not really a guilt feeling, but it is almost akin. Murao, bukat ka yung naunaon sa ako. Uh, ako yung nagsugo sa ila, papunta kayo doon, magpakamatay kayo. Parang ganun. So I'm, I'm always praying that th th this war will end as fast as uh, it can ever be. Because I do not like people dying. I mean, I also see the poor Maranao there. Na wala namang pakialam sa buhay. Wala, he's not a tripper of power. Negrosyante, pobre lang, makita ni mo, umiiyak rin, praying that uh, this uh, war should stop. I want it done immediately. But we are having a hard time because ang nangyari kasi, by the time I ordered martial law, alam ko na mayroon. I mean, kasi may intelligence naman tayo. 
But over the years kasi sila nag-ipon eh. We never realized the magnitude of their preparation sa kanilang mga paputok. Tapos dumating tayo doon, nakapwesto na sila, yung mga snipers nila, and tayo naman, we, we had to practically climb upward. Pagano na mataas yung Marawi? It's a hilly place. Yun ang naka doon. So, anyway, I, I, I always say to the troops that, uh, you know, I'm very sorry to hear it, but uh, I hope you'd understand that uh, I have this constitutional duty. Kaya kung hindi ko rin gawin ang trabaho ko, ako ang makukulong. And more in shame because para ako nagtalaw. So I had to do it because if not, we would have lost Marawi in a matter of days at saka maka-establish sila, makapagyabang sila that they have an Islamic state. Wala akong problema sa Islamic state or province. I can understand it because we are mixed here. I would like it to happen. That's why in my government when I was mayor, may mayor ako sa, uh, um, deputy mayor ako sa Maranao, Maguindanao, Iranon, Tagadabaw, itong mga Kagan, Sama, Tausog, pati yung mga Bajaw, they had a deputy mayor. Because I, 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 I thought that it would be good to be a participatory democracy. But that's why I had no problem Dalao na. Look at Dabao now. If you read the yesterday's papers, and if you heard it yesterday, sorry, Dabao got the, almost the highest, Dabao City, 9% pinakamataas domestic Kita mo sa Dabao, ilang building, hindi ka lang mapunta doon ng dalawang buwan, may manakita ka ng... So Dabao has progressed a lot. Pero ang pagdala ko sa Dabao, well, it's, it's always also a subject to public scrutiny. And so I have this many cases of... Alam ko, hindi ko gawain ng ganun. Wala kasi yung mangyari sa ating bayan. So when I was mayor, kakakano lang natin sa crossroads ng Marcialo pati and you know sadly also I was a prosecutor at the time that every time Dick and Harry kung sino sa Juan Pedro na ingon siya na uh, alas sa masa siya was given freely a firearm and we were I will tell you now we were producing politics inside the metro tung sa police which we call Tagadabaw Barracks, ang tawag natin dyan. Kami tayong Tagadabaw. But we were making it because we wanted to put an end to the insurgency. Pagka wala na sa mga NPA, sa Dabaw, kasi ako na yung nag-mayor, kinausap ko sa kanila, go out of Dabaw, go your, find another place for you to... Ang, ang pumalit, yung namang mga gangster, yung may mga... Ano ang ginawa na nila doon? Magpasok sila sa bahay. Kasi yung ministro ng protestante na puti, mag sila sa bahay. Na ngayon, kung may pera ka sa bangko, I don't know, it, it's still true now, you cannot withdraw more than 50,000 per withdrawal. Kung maghingi sila sa iyo ng 2 million, so how many days yan pabalik-balik mo? In the meantime na you are not able to complete the payment, they stay in your house. Then they rape the wife, then they rape the child, then they rape the helpers and everybody else. Kaya kasabi ko, gulun ito from, you know, from the NPAs, nandito naman itong mga So I made a declaration. So sinabi ko, go out of Dabao City. Do not destroy my city. I'm trying to build a city for our children. Huwag mong sirain kasi pag sinira mo, papatayin talaga kita. Sabi ko, do not destroy the youth, our youth. Kasi yung mga anak namin, kailangan namin yan pagtanda namin. Kasi kami, hindi kami mayaman. 
Mayroon lang kami ngayon may sweldo. May one year sa hospital siguro. Uh, lahat ng medisina kaya ko. But after one year, wala na yan. Mahal ang medisina, ang, ang kwarto, tagpilang bay bayrani mo, nilibo. Eh, kung mga anak natin sira ang uno, who will feed us? Kasi mo hot yung lugaw. Who will buy your medicine? Kasi mo kuha oxygen for you to breathe, to make uh, your life uh, through the day. Kasi mo magpalit sa cemetery o yuta. Kasi mo bayad sa puneraria. Tapos kung ganunin mo mga anak namin, saan kami pupunta? I ilagay mo ako sa alanganin mo. Ang sabi ko, do not do it, do not destroy the children because I will kill you, period. At ginawa ko talaga. Wala naman ako, ano, sinabi ko, pinatay ko yung nagsira. Ang problema nitong human rights. Kita mo, the four days ago, or was it uh, the other day? Day before. Tanawa. Yung uning, itong mga expert na to, kaya ako... Kalit talaga ako dito sa mga puti na mga puti itim. Mga mga, mga foreigners. Di ba? About if last month, na ini aningari, ang shabo could be taken uh, without any danger because it does not create anything inside your brain. Napakaturpe ito. Ngayon, kita mo anong nangyari. Tinanong siya sa polis, bakit mo ginawa yun? Wala, trip-trip lang kasi alcohol pa. Alam mo, pag nagdruga yan, kasama alcohol yan, sigurado yan. Basta yung mga lungo, just the place done, kanya lango na, paligsi. Pagdrag kong traktor, harusan na diha. Ganun, magiging mag mag mariwana. Ay, mga, oh, mariwana. Hallucigenic eh. Produces hallucinations. Tapos sabayan mo ng siya mo. Kanawa, di, lula, asawa, ang anak, 114, 7, one year old. Pinagsasaksak. Ano ba? Kaya, ang advice nila sa akin, itong iyo, kaya ako galit. Kaya ako pinupunan kasi binabastos nila ako. Kaya sabi nila doon, si Duterte dapat yung modern approach ng uh, addiction is maglagay ako ng mga klinika, magproduce ako ng shabo, heroin, cocaine, ipanghatag na ako libre, kagaya sa Vancouver, Canada, and uh, Netherlands. O look at Netherlands na ako Canada. Napunta ako doon ng ano nga, Bale, hugaw. Hugaw na, marami nag-istambay ng mga itim dyan. Pag naman sabihin, hey, buddy, could you give me one dollar? Kung niya gunitan ka na, um, magawa mo dito sa Dabao yan? Anak, pabutong ng itlog niya mo. Yan ang problema. Netherlands, ganun ang gulo. M mga terorista dyan, nag-istambay lahat. So, I really do not know what they are trying to prove. Itong Obama na ito, he criticized me as if I was a federal government employee. Mura kong postal employee. Kaya sinabi ko, you can go to hell, Mr. Obama. Bakit ba ako? I'm just trying to protect my country. Bakit mo ako turuan kung paano tapos sabi mo, pailan-pailan mo pa ako ng kaso? Ah, di ba pailan ka ng kaso? O, tiyo, si Trump ngayon. O, pag kami ni Trump, tawa, at protocol duty yan eh. Um, si President uh, Trump, uh, I'd like to congratulate you for your victory uh, being the President of the United States. Ah, yes, uh, President Duterte, I've been waiting for your call. Ah, you're doing it right. This that are destroying my country. Well, nagmention siya gla yung country nga silingan niya. Actually, ito's Mexico. So, 
Now go, I'll, yeah, I'll do the same. So you're doing it good. So this is, this one president, maayong akong gibuhat. Ni also ka president, kasabaan pa ko, as if, sabi ko, sino ka? Who are you to lecture on me? Kita mo ng druga. Tingnan mo. Anong tanong druga? Pilipinas druga. Pag hindi, hindi natin nakontrol ito. So remember this. Pag hindi ko nakontrol, hindi ko natapos to. Mahirapan kayo, anak ninyo. Maniwala kayo. Kung ang mga presidente, yan lang rin yung nakalinya na ano. Muna yung managa, no? Usap, patay mo. Mahadlok eh. Muna sa ako, no? Pag ina, huwag, I will kill you, I will kill you. Ay, kaya kadaghan pang istorya. Total, progressive mo po ang digos. Naalam mo yung problema sa droga. Pati yan na. You know, give me a reason. Bakit ako kulingin mo? Is there a law which prohibits a president or a mayor or governor for that matter to say do not destroy my country, city or province because I will kill you. What is wrong with that statement? Do not destroy the youth of my land because I will kill you. What is wrong with that statement? Tell me. Ay, ko mga iyo, mga b*** iyo. Turuan pa ako. This guy has been heard saying that I will kill you. Of course. Kaya ako sabi ko, I will run this country in accordance with my oath of office. Wala na yan. Pag Marcelo, Duterte, Marcelo, kanusa, pagganit, tangtango na. Shut up. When the military and the police will tell me, Duterte, it's time to leave martial law because everything is safe already. Okay. Because in the first place, I did not do it on my own volition. I was in Russia, in Moscow, when the pumasok yung balita. Ang tanong ko lang sa ila, in fairness to the military and the police, what they answered me was this. Kung tawag nila sa ako, mayor, I do not allow them to call me president. Mayor, the situation is critical. Pati yung mga civilian na mamatay na. You know, your, magsabi ka your critical condition, tapos sabihin mo, hindi man critical condition, yung mga, yung mga maro dyan, may nila, latatad, mga mga, you know, your, your estimation of critical is not mine. Ako, as mayor, as a prosecutor, as a congressman, I have my standard kung ano yung critical. Yung critical ko, baka sa iyo hindi. But I build, I take care of a country. Why are you just a they're talking nonsense. So, ang sundin ko yung angin. Nung sinabi na, Sir, critical, sabi ko, tell the executive secretary that I am declaring martial law to protect and preserve the Filipino people. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, yung konstitusyon, yung papel that martial law will be declared. Kagaya rin yan sa military party po papel yan, wala yan. Dito yun. That I will serve and protect and defend the Filipino nation. Yun lang ang sinusunod ko. <laughs> wala, wala na akong ayaw mo ng Marcialo? Ah, sh**. So be it. You don't like it? Fine. Totally, hindi naman ako. Why should I declare, why should I enjoy declaring Marcialo? For what? I won by six million. So what's the, what's the prob problem? But you know, you do these things, Samara, itong mga terorista, killing 
beheading uh, Christians and uh, moral like. Ay, wala akong patawa dito. No, say, when is the time to leave the martial law? Well, then I will ask the military and the police. Is he safe now? And if the chief of staff, but the PNP would say, everybody would be safe. And uh, it's okay now. He leave ko. Otherwise, it's not dependent on the whim na punta Supreme Court. Maniwala kaya ako. Tingin ko magulo pa. Panif mo. Hulihin kita. Ipasok na tuloy kita sa kulungan. Mayo ba? Huwag kong ipapasubo ng lalo na bayan ko. We can talk of anything else and make compromises maybe. But not when the interest of my country is at stake. Di talaga yan. That is not negotiable. So yan ang... Bumunta ako dito kasi, Governor, because... I had to pass this message to you so that you'd understand. Sabi ko dito, sabi niya, maggabi na ta. Ayun, gabi na. Maraming bat. Akong chopper. Lupad man ni gabi eh. Para mahulog po ni gabi eh. Parihurag punta gabi eh. Parihurag man na. Mas klaro lang sa adlaw ang paglambo sa imo. Ang gabi eh, mapiyong ko malang. Ah, kung ba siya gabi eh, take off ta. When I was a student, fourth year ko sa high school, kanya ako mga ampot, unapak ko yung classmate ko rin ko ron. Na ay, dahil, meet ba? Kaya nagalupad ako ni Ato. Kaya sila yung upan, nakikita mo yung digos, dive na ko daan, pero gi, ang gi, ang, ang trattle, ako nang giminuran di hilom ni sod nga rin ang akong eroplano bayot god tawag nag bayot pag abot ki tunong gyud nako pag ana bang dagan tong mga athletes giada na ako gisalubo na ako sa eroplano undang um tan aw dayon ang isabay parenti ni doktor ni ni ipil ang mong principal ada kami kebuang nanti dari. Hari hari kami ni dodong kagas priso. Ang kening modern kau nih digos. Ang inyong stop and go. Usar kami kanang kanto dia nangpong pada nak kro nangpong nai restoran dia nangpong gamay dan ang inyong go anak-anak pag anak go tana na onya stop pag kagabi ato nang lingkod mi dia amo sini nak likod lingkod mi so ni uyog mo ni amo gi dayo nak tumba anak nang waiting si Miyoriano dong gatan au dai sa mga gadaog katilaw mi tanan pa pa gipapriso ko sa i inform my father kani ako tatay dia sa dia ako sa kulungan pero yung dudo pud na kadang lamok pero tulo ka agdaw ako gihubuan gyud me kami tanan ko Sige pang anag lambok sa di na wata mo matay mo ta anig. Ganon ka disiplinarian si lolo nila. Walang patawa niyo. Pati ako, anak ng gobernador. Kaya nung na-mayor ako, ganon rin. Sa totoo lang. Anak po kung kulata o tao, wala na yung hangtod ba? Naanad ko sa akong mama nga kadaadlaw, paludhong ko sa altar. Di samot. Mama na ko, ano yan to? Ano ako? Kada hapon halos. Tanaw ko sa altar si Jesus Cristo na anak pa man yan to. Yan naman siya si Cristo, Father, forgive them. Pero punta ka sa bahay namin ngayon, si Jesus Cristo nakagano na. 
Kasi ako naman ang kausap niya palagi noon. Sabi ko, parihat talaga tayo, swerte pare. Paitas kinabuhi na to eh. Kaya seven years ako ng high school. Oh, so sorry ko nga rin. Nakabot, manukup ako hod ba na ako na si Doresa. Nakabot, yun may ana. Tuk me, balhin ko nga rin. Nibali ko sa kapag ka second year. Yan ang buhay. Pero, na ay usak ka tagadigos ng bayana. Pagkuhat o na mo, gara, gara. Tagadigos ng bayana, pero parting guwapaha. Pariyada sa inyo, Laila taon niya. Manihapon tang tanan. Kita rin, ayaw na lang, Abila. Alam niyo, restaurant nga rin, arang-arang. Puro tuhod pa yung mo nga. Ang iyang, nagtrabaho siya sa Amerika karoon. She's a nurse. Ang botong na. Kasi nakailan ninyo, ang panga niya, it's pronounced as Lia. 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 Kung sa Leo, it's not Leo. It's Leah. Ang iyang apelido, anda na ito mamatay. Pero kasi na kailang Leah. Tiyak ka siguro rin kay Guapa ka man. Muuli ay man siguro ito. Ah, Guapa yun. Sa lahat ng babae na kilala ko, sa totoo lang, walay hambog ko kung siya nga rin. Ang dili to mistisa, pero siya ay pinakagwapa sa tanan. Ganda talaga ang mukha. Sige, pag, pag uli man to, dad, una ko nga rin ha. <laughs> Pakita na ako rin yung kaganda talaga. Pilipina pero almost perfect ang distribution sa kuhan ba. Sa unod, wapag yun. Kaya mo daw iyang bay. Pakadya, Sardos Rizal. Ingna niya sa I love you. Bitaw sa tinood. Bapak Yud, kita rasa ni nyo, I'd ask you to come on. Dari Digo. Pagka gua pa, sa tanang, sa tanang akong naila-ila. Tisay, dah ke mana, mga tisay, tisay. Kaya tanang, akong pangutan on, mga polis, mga, mga nangyong sila, Bapak Yud, sir. Basta sa, dito sa akong balay-balay, ha, ni Agi man siya nga ito. Nga nga sila nga. Sa tanang na na anhidre, guwapa gini siya. Pero nag-anang biya katiguan ang buhay. Ako natiguan ko. Kita ka may uban ako? Tungod ba ni Aneng Marawi? Galit na galit yan eh. Galit ko. Bakit nila pinapasok itong mga teroristas Pilipinas? Bakit? O di na ko magdugay kay Pero I can spend time yeah. If you ask questions uh, Ay, ay, ay uh, Bakante pa man ang chopper o duha <laughs> At tulo di ay Sabak Sabak ko lang akong usap uh, So One is that I would like to Credit the founding fathers Of this uh, province for their tireless effort to make what is now legal. Alam mo, ang problema lang ninyo is droga. Medyo malakas. Pati, I'm also trying to warn the police here. Lay off sa drugs, ha? Kamuha mga police. Kay, 
alam mo na. Huwag kayong, huwag kayong pumasok dyan kasi kasali kayo sa statistics dyan. But uh, overall, okay ang... Ito lang mga... Kasi nga na yung NPA, Dre. Kas kamot. Warbay mo ang kun ang Labog to as bukid, magladag arbas, bugiro kayo. Kas kamot. Ganito yan eh. Could you please stop waging war against... Alam mo, hindi ko yung maintindihan. Unang sabi doon sa itaas, si Sison ordered to engage government forces in the struggle. But pas about gira. Then they changed it to that uh, they will uh, stop until such time uh, matapos itong sa Marawi siege. Kasi walang, ang sabi ko ngayon, there will never be a space for you, ong terorista, kayong mga komunista, wala kayong space dyan sa terorista. Pag yan ang manalo o ma-overwhelm tayo, pati kayo kasali dyan. Kasi there is no redeeming factor for that. Wala kayo. So, in the main time, ano ba talaga? Undang mo o atake sa o gobyerno o mag-istorya ta. Ako, I said, I can always, but may, may legitimate ano kayo, uh, human rights, uh, pati kayo, kasali man rin dyan. We're both guilty on that score. Pero ang, ang ano ko dyan is, mag-ambos mo, patay pa sa babay, sa, ano ba? Mag-usap ba tayo o hindi? In the meantime, kung mag-usap tayo in the future, then stop waging war. Kasi baka itong mga sundalo, ayaw na rin maghipag-usap. Kami, utusan lang kami lahat We are just co-workers in government and staff police. But the only reason na medyo mataas ako, but I do not control everything. And I cannot control everybody. And ako, anong sabihin? Sila mo nga akong sugo, naingon sila, dili may anak. Kasi, dalawa kasi ang salita ninyo. Ano ba? Undang ba mo? Mag-istorya ta? O if you want to stop fighting, If you want to, 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 do, to talk to us, then, my God, please stop killing us. You, you kill my... Nung una, nag kayo ng ceasefire February 10. February 4, gipatayin ninyo akong polis duha diya sa kinapawan. Ang tulog ka polis, buli nga gika nag... Huwag ilang sidlo, inyong gipatay. Ang mga klase na... Naingog si Spire, February 10. February 4, kaya tinamagang ko si John Anyo, sabi ko, resume tayo. Kalukuhan niya na. Better decide. You know, I'm addressing also myself sa mga MIMN. We have been fighting this war for 50 years. As old as this province. Now tell me, do you want to fight another 50 years? Wala akong problema. May mga sundalo, may swildo. 50 years, sige. But this time, kung girag-girag yun, wala tayong patawaran. Hindi na tsaka hindi rin ako maghintay na ano ka ba sundalo. If you are identified there, then... Total, gano'n na ang ginagawa ninyo. Pinapatay ninyo mga barangay captain. Pinapatay ninyo yung mga... Hindi eh, gawain ko rin yan. Alkansi mo yung lugi kami yan kung kamuray mo. So, let's fight on even grounds. Ako, I'm willing to accept the offer that you stop fighting. Good. I accept that. And we can talk again, I said. Huwag lang yan terorista. But you must realize that 50 years is 50 years of fighting. Bone weary, nanta ujan. Hindi na believe sa inyo, hindi narin believe sa amin. Kasi sabi, do 30 siglo lang sabi niya he initiate talks. 
Okay, yung inisitoks, hindi lang tayo makaintindihan dyan sa point doon. Kayo hindi duresa pati ni Belio. Upaka na kaagad ninyo yung sundalo ko. Kalukuhan dyan. You decide. Do not create uh, something which is not acceptable also to me. And to, to the guys who are doing the fighting. Uh, that would be my message to you, para sa lahat. And uh, I, I, there's a sense of uh, so I'm born out of the many years that I spent here, almost three years uh, finishing my high school. And uh, once upon a time, I was able to visit uh, Quebec, where the headquarters of the Korea so brothers. Uh, I went there, pero kamatay lang ni Brother Elric noon. So, but I was able to meet some of the guys still. Pero matatanda na sila. Uh, and uh, we would like also to thank uh, the French Canadians who helped us in our education. And to the mga patay na na dumaan dito na nagdala sa ating gobyerno. At ang maganda na ang digos ngayon, Davao del Sur, except yung terrorism, pati yung NPA. Sige, kanang ko lang, wag na lang yung NPA, so, yung sympathizer na lang para ikaw ang magdala ng message. Mga barangay kagawad. Yes, sir. Bulahon, pag unin nyo. Barangay Kagawad, pag abot sa NPO, oh, oh, bigot ah. Pag abot sa Ndalo, sir, wala, bigot ah. Tuhin muna natin. I, I ask the NPAs now. Kaya sabi ko, if you, you or your friend, tell them that uh, they can uh, announce and I will announce a Total this far. In the meantime, that we are busy dealing with the problem in Marawi. Uh, but to all of you, sir, wala ka bang ano kasi what you experience and experience kaman rin. Alam ko ang buhay ng plus one. Uh, lisod na. Pariho tag swerte. Pero uh, swerte ka kay si mama ayaw mama ko ang buutan. Okay, salbahis ka pa, dugay ka rin na patay. Mupatay, may ganyan si... Winay na yun, Rachel, I have to go. It's getting dark. I have to fly home. Mayor, patya sila. O niya, kanusay mo ang birthday, Mayor? Mark? Ah, 28 ko. Kamo ba, o hapit ng Pasko? O, o, kung maalaala lang ninyo, yung mayor ninyo, pati yung presidente ninyo, taga Egbidjas, wala ang Egbidjas yung tao nung. Mabaya, <laughs> well, oh. Pobre, pobre. Pobre. Pila ka na ito yung mong asawa? Duha, no? <laughs> Duha. Adodo ah, ako kita mga tago hadlok na ano Ako ako ang asawa do hagyon sino Ah uh, pero na ako ko i girlfriend ng usa Na na pa ko i reserve Pero wa man siya ngare Pero tanawan ninyo na when uh, hindi ko yan binabastos ah I'm not trying to Be, pero maganda talaga na babae. Yung kumahanap kayo ng babae na Pilipina na simple lang pero gwapa ka na si Lia. Dahan, salamat. Huwag mayong gabi eh. Kaninyong kanina.